Transforming Assessment for Student Development National Education Policy, 2020. Ms. Jalak wants to know about the major changes proposed in NEP, 2020 about transforming assessment for student development. Mr. Raya Frangin, Principal, Teacher Trainer and Counselor will talk about following points. A. Guidelines for Assessment mentioned in NEP, 2020. B. Aim of Assessment in School Education System. C. Progress Card, Report Card, Mark Sheet, etc. Keywords for Discussion Primary Purpose of Assessment Progress Card, Student's Report Card, Report, 360 Degree Assessment, Multi Dimensional Report Card, Self Assessment, Peer Assessment, From Transforming Assessment for Student Development, National Education Policy, 2020. The aim of assessment in the culture of our schooling system will shift from one that is summative and primarily tests rote memorization skills to one that is more regular and formative. Is more competency-based, promotes learning and development for our students, and tests higher-order skills, such as analysis, critical thinking, and conceptual clarity. What is primary purpose of assessment that is proposed in NEP, 2020? The primary purpose of assessment will indeed be for learning. It will help the teacher and student, and the entire schooling system, continuously revise teaching learning processes, to optimize learning and development for all students. What major changes will be taken place in progress card, report card, mark sheet according to NEP, 2020? The progress card of all students for school-based assessment, which is communicated by schools to parents, will be completely redesigned by states or UTs under guidance from the proposed National Assessment Center, INSERT, and CERTs. The progress card will be a holistic, 360-degree, multidimensional report that reflects in great detail the progress as well as the uniqueness of each learner in the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor domains. It will include self-assessment and peer assessment, and progress of the child in project-based and inquiry-based learning, quizzes, role plays, group work, portfolios, etc., along with teacher assessment. The holistic progress card will form an important link between home and school, and will be accompanied by parent-teacher meetings in order to actively involve parents in their children's holistic education and development. The progress card would also provide teachers and parents with valuable information on how to support each student in and out of the classroom. Sir. IE-based software could be developed and used by students to help track their growth through their school years based on learning data and interactive questionnaires for parents, students, and teachers, in order to provide students with valuable information on their strengths, areas of interest, and needed areas of focus, and to thereby help them make optimal career choices. Thank you so much Jalak for this valuable information. Thank you so much Raya Frangin sir. Hope we have understood following keywords that is primary purpose of assessment, progress card, students report card, report, 360 degree assessment, multidimensional report card, self assessment, peer assessment, from NEP, 2020. Presented by Raya Frangin, Principal, Teacher Trainer and Counselor. For more information on NEP, 2020, kindly read NEP. 2020, visit the Indian Government MHRT website, and for more articles, PowerPoint presentation and videos, you can visit www.raevelt.com, www.raeverengine.net.